were back here at the Wall of Presidents because there was big news this week. Indiana Senator Evan Bayh announced on This Week with George Stephanopoulos that he'd be forming his Presidential Exploratory Committee this week. On the program, Bayh acknowledged that there could be some superstar names in the race, like Gore and Obama, and he compared himself to David in the David and Goliath story. Evan Bayh the mega popular Democratic senator from a red state, whose approval rating when he left the governor's office was 70%, and who has a bunch of hotties on his MySpace page. I mean, cripes! If I is David, then who's Tom Vilsack? David's deformed brother who can't go to slingshot practice because he's too busy cleaning up camel dung in the hut? But over here on the East Coast, there's some thrillery going on. Hillary Clinton spent some time with Elliot Spitzer at his Manhattan home this weekend. You know, eating waffles, playing Nintendo, talking about president -y things. Bill wasn't invited, but he spent the entire morning going through Silda Wall's trash outside. Using the Clinton-tested method of pulling the crap out of an issue before coming to a decision, Hillary's been meeting with everybody in New York to discuss her possible bid for presidency. Spitzer, Charlie Rangel, Denny Farrell, John Spencer, Joe Gould, E.B. White's Bones, that bum who asked me if I stole his shoes, and they've all given her a resounding... <coughs> November 6, after months and months of staying the course, Donald Rumsfeld sent a memo to the White House offering new options in Iraq. Two days later, of course, he resigned, or was pushed out. Well, that's kind of the equivalent of Mrs. O'Leary's cow saying, Oh, hey, um, by the way, I think, I think I may have knocked something over in the shed. Uh, you may want to take a look at it before it... Uh, oh, you, but you can use water on it. Water, I hear... Or sand. Sand is really good for, for smothering the... But, um, but listen, I gotta go. Uh, I just got a job at Borden's Milk Company. I don't know if you've heard of it, but... Uh, so, um, see ya. Rumsfeld's memo, titled Iraq, the story of three peoples with nothing in common but their love of the game, is a compilation of 21 possibilities. Among the 15 above-the-line or good options, Rumsfeld suggested relocating the troops from vulnerable positions, initiating a massive program for unemployed youth, providing money to key political and religious figures in exchange for help, and beginning to withdraw forces from the country to get Iraqis to pull up their own socks. Rumsfeld also suggested recasting the U.S. military mission and goals. That is, if you begin to lose, change what it means to win. I.e., the point of monopoly is to not get any properties and be massively in debt. Among the below-the-line options are the three separate state plan and throwing a costume party and hoping everything will work out for the best. Now, Bush is partial to one of these. I'm not saying which one, but let's just say that the costume studio in D.C. will finally be able to get rid of that octopus in the window. That's Lunchbox. And hey, want to have a say in how everything will change day one? Of course, we all do. Help Governor-elect Spitzer get your comprehensive, groundbreaking, eloquent ideas and vote on other people's moronic suggestions. Go to the Roommate website and click on the day one link. Baby!